Hey Wanderers, how's it going? My name is Strayed. Welcome back to the Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke with the Randomizer. The last fight didn't go well for Hero. But we continue on. We always continue on. Agatha, the ghost type user. That was des decades ago. He is a shadow of his former self. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokédex. I'll show you. I'll show you how a real trainer battles. Okay. What with with ghost Pokémon, so you don't have to worry about them dying. Okay, so Gengar's fast. Gengar hits hard, but Gengar's weak against Psychic, and Gengar's fragile. In fact, you'll notice a theme with Agatha's Pokemon. They're all weak to Psychic. And Veggie Burn's going to be faster than every single one of them. Oh no, my, my attack's sad. And then... Oh no... Dang it... Level 56? Level 58, Gengar. Alright, I've got... Yes! Hypno... RNG in my favor. Thanks, RNGesus. And Haunter. Not even gonna risk it. Not even going to risk it. Just psychic. Just melt that thing into a puddle. Done. Agatha down. In a one hit sweep. No, I just used type advantage. It's not special. It's like it, you're not you're not hard to beat. All right. Now comes the other scary thing. The other thing that I've quite literally been dreading to fight. <clears throat> the leader of the Elite Four, Lance the Dragon Master. All right. So Lance leads with a Gyarados. So up front, Chuck Manley's going to absolutely destroy Gyarados. And then it's going to be switching gears to Vape God, and Vape God's going to carry this the rest of the way home. They're virtually indestructible. No. There's no being clever with them. Yes, there is. Two of your Pokemon aren't even dragons, Lance. Get out of here with this. Wow, it, Gyarados is water flying. Come on. Get out of here with that. Doesn't matter, Chuck Manley's way faster. Thunderbolt, four times weak. Gyarados is down. Like, I don't even care. Gyarados dropped. Dragonair. Okay, so switch to Vape God. Oop, almost knocked my glasses off my face. Well, going straight into Outrage, huh? Ouch. Ice Beam. I'm going to have to heal after this turn. Oh, whatever. Ice Beam! <laughs> There's no being clever with them. Only their weakness of dragon types and ice types. And in the newer generations, fairy types. Alright, what do you got? Safeguard? Hmm. Sounds good to me. Thanks for giving me a free turn. 
Ice beam! Oh, you're gonna start up Outrage too. That's... whatever. It's not even an issue, homie. So... Dragonite! Fun thing about Dragonite, for those of you who don't know, so... Whereas... Dragonair, the evolution... So it goes Dragonair, and then Dragonite. And Dragonair is a pure dragon type. Dragonite is a dragon flying type. And that means that Ice Beam is going to be four times effective. And is... God, that hurts. Jeez, they're terrifying. Effective, Dragonite's down. There's no way Dragonite lives that. Yep. And then here is his other not dragon type Pokemon, as uh, a rock flying type. Ancient power, oh no! Surf, it's part rock type. I don't care. Not even a crit can take me out now. I kind of feel bad now because after after Hero went down, it's no longer like, oh, it's a fun challenge. It's, I am filled with grim purpose. I must demolish the Elite Four with extreme prejudice. I still can't believe my draft. You are now the Pokemon League champion. Hey, or not. Or you will have been. But there's one more challenge left. There's one more trainer to face. His name is... Peter W. Who would have done... Alright. That's getting a little corpsey in here. Alright, how do I want to do this? Hyper Potion. Alright, so I'm basically going to have Chuck Manley in the forefront. And Chuck Manley's going to... Oh man, I'm just so... Scared of Rhydon! I'm scared of so many things. Not scared of Pidgeot, though. Pidgeot should go down pretty easy. You know what that means! I'll tell you. I am the trainer in the world. Dun, dun. I have no idea if the volume is actually playing because I have to. It doesn't like I have my program set that it doesn't uh, play, like it's not active on the background. So when I bring up my recording software, it's actually not recording. So I have no idea if there's actually music playing right now. But if there's not, I highly recommend looking up the. Uh... Oh man, oh that didn't hurt at all. So that is going to be a full restore. Anyway, I highly recommend people look up the champion, the champion battle music for Pokemon. They are, all of them are amazing. And then since the Pokemon fan base is amazing, and they all are. Oh, that's not. That's not good. All right, guys, what do we think it's gonna do? I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm terrified this is going to try Horn Drill. If it tries Earthquake, that's fine. I think Vape God can live in Earthquake. Okay, that's where it was. Ugh. And, and Vape God's going to be faster. Right on his, right on his rock grounds. Right on's going to get completely shrecked. No problem. Alright, well, what do we got? Executor. Executor! Alright, so that's part grass type, so I want to be not in here for this. Um, I'm gonna send out Prism. Prism's got good special defense. Prism should be able to handle the Let's see how Prism takes his first hit. 
Yeah, okay, prison's fine. I'm going to take this time to heal up Vape God. Chuck Manley's fine. Chuck Manley should be able to... If Chuck Manley... Oh, great. If Chuck Manley gets put back in, it's it's going to be to use Explosion. And that's it. Like, something truly awful has happened. And... Light screen, so that special defense is increased. So, okay, so it's got Giga Drain, reflect, or light screen, sleep powder. Okay, so what's what's the fourth move? Egg bomb. Okay. Yeah, it hits decently hard. Come on, Prism. Okay, good. Okay, that's not bad. But, I'm going to want to heal first. More sleep powder. Great. So, Prism shouldn't, should wake up I would think in a second, or in one turn, but I, ow, one turn, but I could be, oh, okay. I thought that sleep get sleep was shorter every time you get sleep inflicted on you. I could be wrong. I am wrong, apparently. Okay. Full restore, and then sleep powder has what, a 50, 55% accuracy? So, I mean, hopefully this executor will hit miss once. Yeah. What? Oh my god. The powder moves are not that accurate. Uh I just flip a coin. Still asleep. Still asleep. Still asleep. I can't risk it now because it's going to be the potential for a critical to take Prism out. Get good drain's gonna heal it. Sleep powder hits again. <sighs> Dude, I couldn't I couldn't land I couldn't land a an iron tail to save my life, and it's got better accuracy than than this move that he's hit me four times in a row with. It's, are you kidding me? I'm gonna try to just finish this with Prism. Like, I really don't want to switch into anybody at this point. No. Ooh, that might be enough to save Alakazam from this double edge. It was enough to save it. I should have healed. I don't want to look. Oh, God, okay. And the double edge recoil damage isn't going to be enough. Get out of here, Alakazam. Yep, this is the thing I'm afraid of. Alright. So. Uh, hyper potion. Max potion. I believe. Yep, hyper potion wouldn't have healed them to full, so max potion. Blizzard, yeah, Blizzard, keep missing, Blizzard. Okay, so one double edge and then a hyper beam should be enough to take Walrin out. That didn't do anything. That didn't do any damage to him. <gasps> Into a sheer cold! Oh, 
oh god, Sheer Cold is the one hit KO for Ice types. It's like it's like horn drill, and it's like what? Oh my god! If this kills Walrin, Prism's dead. Okay, Sheer Cold has a like a thirty percent. So that's what its stats say, but if I'm remembering my moves correctly, it's got like a 50-50 hit chance, but only if you're a higher level than the Pokemon you're fighting. So, oh god. This can't, I can't, this can't crit me. I just stop. Hyper Beam. God! That's Prism down. To this horrifying walrus. Chuck T Bolt should take it out. I don't know, there is a seven level difference. Oh god, it's I already know that I'm faster. T bolt. Oh, Gyarados. Ha. Huh. T bolt. I know I'm faster. That's the Elite Four down. That's the Elite Four and the champion down. But my goodness, did we take did we take a beating to do it? Deal with it. At least you get to keep your Pokemon. And so I'm going to, on camera, save my save state. Just, well, just in case, like, the the save that and I don't get to, like, restart the, anyway. You're going up so much, you're not a Bulbasaur. Bulbasaur. I am disappointed in you. Dude, we're all disappointed in him. I already lost what you got here. Do you understand why you lost? You have forgotten type advantages. Without them, you'll never become a champ again. I'm, it's my near encyclopedic knowledge of Pokemon. You are correct, Professor Oak. Okay. Congratulations, Strade. This is the Pokemon Hall of Fame. The exploits here. Recording the Hall of Fame. Strade! You have worked hard to become the League Champion. Congratulations, Strade. You and your Pokemon are all Hall of Famers. Oh, my goodness. That was hard. That was all... That was just really hard. Vape God, I I'm so I think, like Vape God, and Vape God, Chuck Manley, and Veggie Burn all were essential to beating this guy, to beating these guys. And this is the end. This is the credit sequence. I'm not touching the controller. Stage one, Nuzlocke complete. Stage two, incoming. So, 
<clears throat> Alright, I'm going to fast forward to this part because it's actually a really long credit sequence. I'm sure if you look around online you can find it if you really want to watch it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to fast forward and we'll pick up once I get back into the game. Make sure like once I can get back into the game to start stage 2. Because if I can't start stage 2, then I'm going to have to call stage 1 like good enough. But anyway... Uh, I'll catch back up to you guys in a couple minutes, so I'll be right back. All right, Wanderers, let's let's test it out and see. Beep, beep. Sorry if you hear that. That's an alarm clock in the distance. And then one handily, nice. All right, guys. Of the Nuzlocke has officially begun. Okay. Bye. Well, I say stage two, but I'm pretty sure there's some requirement that I have to do. Um... Grab my telephone. I'm not sure I can even do the Nuzlocke. I don't know. Um, so let me just look up Sevi Islands 7, 4 through 7. There we go. Late for Oh, well, that's easy enough. Alright, so yeah, that's this is stage two. Well, actually, hang on. I need to I need to take care of something first. Ah, gonna use Hero's broken, broken and crushed corpse. Back to the Pokemon Center. Hero has got to go. And Prism has got to go. Ooh, party feels small already. Man, this is not a high level. Ah. Helen's better in the old in the newer games when she can use her better attacks. All right, so I need a tank. Well, Hoopsie's gonna be it. So, alright, so... I'm gonna have to work for a bit to get, uh... Sorry, I'm gonna have to work for a bit to get, uh... Terra Root and Hoopty up to, uh... Up to the standards here. Parish song. Oh, that's trolly.
and Terra Root level five. That's okay. All right, guys. So I'll work on getting them up to level fifty, I guess, or in the mid fifties. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Keep wandering, don't get lost. Cherish your Pokemon. You never know when they're going to be taken from you. Up there.